y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new i'm amanda and today is going to be like a random video kind of thing and i totally forgot to do an intro to my video it's dark outside as you can see i am trying to finish editing it it is late this week we have had just so much going on so yeah but we got two diys for you and then we are decorating our christmas tree finally so let's get to it so for our first diy we are making cinnamon applesauce ornaments in my bowl i have three-fourths cup of applesauce and three-fourths cups of flour then i'm going to add a half cup of ground cinnamon and then in my other little red bowl, I have one tablespoon of ground nutmeg and one tablespoon of ground cloves. And then I will add two tablespoons of white glue and then just get it all mixed up. I'm going in with my hands just to get it mixed up a little better. You want it to be like a cookie dough consistency. Is that how you say the word? I can't say that word. But then you're just gonna put some flour down and roll your dough out. And you're literally making this just like you would be making cookies. And I kind of think maybe next time I might do maybe cocoa powder or something because as you can see the flour did make it a little lighter and i remember when i was a kid my mom had a bunch of these that she got like at a craft show and they were actually pretty dark so i don't know maybe next year i'll experiment with them a little more because i did enjoy making these and they smell so good So as you can see, I'm taking a straw here and poking some holes into these. These shapes here are actually going to be made into garland. And I did end up going back and making another batch for just ornaments, but I did let these dry up to 48 hours. I set them on my cookie rack and just set them aside. You can speed up the process and put them in the oven, low temperature, about 300 for maybe like 40 to 50 minutes, but it all depends on how thick you do make them. But after 48 hours, I may have done 72 hours because I did go back and make another batch of these just for ornaments, but every time I walked in my kitchen, that is all I smelled. These smell so good. So now I just have some scissors and some twine and these are actually going to be my ornaments here. So I just loop it through and I don't, I didn't measure anything or nothing like that. So I was just kind of winging it. And then after I do these ones, I am going to go to my garland and loop those through too, obviously. And I actually end up making a smaller garland and then a little bit bigger one. So some of my ornaments are dinosaurs, as you can see, they are a bit, a little 
random, but that's because when I made the ornament ones, I wanted Watson to kind of help me with it. And he honestly wasn't really into it like I thought he would be. And then I had Tyler make a couple also, but I just thought it was super fun that we ended up making some of these together and we can put them on the tree and hopefully we can enjoy them years from now. So here is my first garland and I absolutely love the way it turned out. And like I said, they smell so good. I think it may be a little too big, but I still think it's so cute. And then I did put a smaller one in the dining room. If you know, we don't really have much in our dining room, but I still wanted to add a little touch in there. And I just think they look so cute on this sign. Now, last for our DIY, we are going to be making paw print ornaments. And let me tell you, this was a trip. So I have these wood rounds that I got off of Amazon. I will have them linked below. And then I am using this non-toxic apple barrel black pavement paint, I think is what it's called. So I just paint under their paws and then I will stick it on the ornament. I did end up doing this a couple times until I found the best one out of the two or three that I ended up taking. And then I used a baby wipe to wipe their paws off some, but then I had to take them to the bathroom and put them in the tub to rinse their paws off. But I just love the way that these turned out. They are so stinking cute. So now those are done and I'm letting them dry. I went upstairs and made labels for the ornaments using my Cricut. I wanted to put their name on them and put the year. And I tried to do on Maxine and Luna's ornament. I wanted to put first Christmas, but for some reason it was just not working for me. I don't know what was going on, but I had to try and cut these out multiple times. I don't know if it was the operator. I don't know if it's the blade. I don't know what was going on, but I finally got it done and I cannot wait to show you guys. and the labels so I ended up putting the labels on the back of them and then I used some Mod Podge as you can see there's still a couple of them wet but they turned out so good I just absolutely love them so now all those DIYs are done and now we are going to go see the Southern Lights this is the first year any of us have been to them and we did show up pretty early so as you can see it is still a little bit daylight but we just had so much fun.
see the dinosaurs? Yeah, Triceratops. Yeah, yeah lava. Is that cool? Watson had so much fun at the Southern Lights. He enjoyed it so much and seeing his face light up was just the best thing ever. But now we are finally decorating our Christmas tree and I got this bell garland off of Amazon and I wanted it because our cats constantly get in our tree. So I was hoping that this would help us hear them if they got in the tree or not. But about a week ago, I ended up getting some of those scents that go in the tree a while back. And ever since I put those in there, the cats have not gotten in our tree one time. Like I said, I put them in about a week ago and they have stayed out of that tree. So if you have cats and you have this problem, definitely try that. We got the fresh pine scent, I think it was. So I will definitely be getting those again next year. so sad because the star that Watson ended up picking out did not fit on our tree so I swapped it out for his but I still love the way our tree turned out it looks so beautiful and cozy but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one